Hey guys, this is Divya and I'm back with another episode of Plums Prelims Level Up MCQ series. Today, again, we have come up with five new, new MCQs. Now, this is episode number 79. Today is 21st Feb and I'm taking environment today. This is Divya. So, as, as always guys, I would request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Press the bell notification and, uh, you know, uh, like and share these videos as much as you can and be consistent guys right now let us begin the first mcq here is it here is it so which of the following species are included in the program called as integrated development of wildlife habitats habitats right options are you know first uh, uh, these are the species the name of the species which are given here are snow leopard asian wild buffalo dugong indian rhinoceros now the options, I mean the combination of the options which you have seen here are um, Okay, A is 1, 2 and 3 Then there is B, 1 and 3 only C, 2 and 3, A, 2, 3, 4 And then D is all of, the, all of the above Right? So pause the video guys and do answer So integrated development of wildlife habitats It is actually a central, uh, centrally sponsored scheme for the recovery of the endangered species so and this program that is integrated development of wildlife habitats it actually includes 16 uh, species and you have to remember these at least the uh, main uh, main species like snow leopard you can remember bustard you can remember right dolphin hangul nilgiri tahar right dugong dugong is very important right and i have uh, taught about all these species i think in detail also when i was taking the lectures uh, of you know environment then there is wild asian uh, asian wild buffalo nicobar megapod uh, then there is malabar civet which is very important then vultures indian rhinoceros asiatic lion swamp deer so most of these are actually uh, we can predict that these these will be there right because these are very threatened ones these are endangered ones now the second mcq which of the following is the correct sequence of ecosystems in the order of decreasing productivity? You have to see here. Be very careful. It is the decreasing productivity. The options are first, ocean lake, grassland, mangroves. B, mangroves, ocean, grasslands, lakes. C, mangroves, grasslands, lake, oceans. D, oceans, mangroves, lake, gardens. So definitely you can make out C and D together you know cannot be correct either c will be correct or the d will be correct right now and b as well um, so c right uh, so yeah answer is actually c so biomass productivity of various ecosystem is given in the decreasing order first there is swamps mangroves marshes these are very you know uh, their uh, their productivity is very high then there is coral reefs algal beds then comes grasslands then liver, uh, I'm sorry, river, estuaries, lakes, temperate forests, then cultivated lands, tundras, and then open ocean. Right? So, you might be thinking maybe the uh, productivity of ocean uh, should be more, but it's not. Maybe because of the salinity and all, and so many other factors involved. Now, third question. Under which of the following options, Hokera and Renuka are classified into? Right? So, they, they these two names are given, Hokera and Renuka, these places. So, under which of the categories they are classified, right? So, options are Tiger Reserve, B option is Wetland, C is Elephant Reserve, D is National Park, right? So, pause the video, answer the question. Now, let us see the answer. So, Hokera is a wetland and Renka is also a wetland, right? So, Hokera, it is a natural perennial wetland contiguous to the Jhelum Basin. So, if it is Jhelum, then it has to be in this uh, you know, uh, state of Jammu and Kashmir. The Ramsar site number is 1570. It is also a Ramsar site. Renko as well is a Ramsar site. So, it that's why it, this makes it, you know, important question. So, Renko wetland is actually, it's a, it, it's a, it's a wildlife sanctuary also. It is a reserve forest as well. But it is a nat uh, natural wetland with, uh, you know, fresh springs and inland um, subterranean cast uh, formations. But the, uh, you know, it means that cast for topography is also found there. And it is fed by a small stream flowing from the lower Himalayan out to the Giri River. So, it is situated in Himachal Pradesh. And Ramsar site number is 1571. 
so kindly remember these guys so next question what is meant by filter feeding okay so there is this term given filter feeding what it is that you have to tell options are it is a method of water conservation or the method uh, some animals used to feed then uh, whether it is a method used by seagrass beds to filter sediments from water or it is the method by root networks to filter contaminants in soil right now let us see the answer answer is actually b right so it is the you know filter feeding it is a method that is that is used by some animals to feed right because the filter feeding is what it is a method they use to feed themselves right where the animals you know they find their meal and they move through the water and then and that's how they keep you know uh, filtering out you know the uh, the uh, they extract the small pieces of food and other particles from the water and then this how if they filter and the un, uh, unwanted things are thrown out and the uh, things that they need to eat they uh, inhale i mean they uh, you know ingest they eat and some of the uh, this thing is given some of the examples are given like filter feeders like there is clams sponges krills baleen whales fishes and some other which have this you know specialized filtering structure you can see you know uh, for your understanding so, uh, somehow this is the you know the, the somewhat the structure is like this so that's how they keep filtering and they uh, that's how they eat right so the final mcq santa maria fever few this is also known as congress grass right so it's synonym synonym is also given so this congress grass is actually a cause of concern why right your options are whether it is a psychoactive plant or it is an insectivorous plant or it is highly toxic plant or it is an invasive species so pause the video guys and answer the question now let us see the answer answer is actually d so your one thing you have to remember is whenever you are attempting a question you have to find the most appropriate answer right because this santa maria fever flu it it is also very it is very toxic as well because there is a substance in it which is called parthenin it is very dangerously to toxic but uh, there is uh, option is toxic as well but more more than that it is you know uh, it is a cause of concern because it is an invasive species right so the uh, the name which is given its a uh, scientific name is parthenium hystero forus and it is native to american tropics it is not native to india and it that's how it is it becomes an invasive species i mean it is an alien species and when it you know it is grown in india and it is locally known as carrot grass or congress grass or gajal khas it is very common invasive species in india australia and part of africa it you know retards the um, it invades the whole land and it makes it you know uh, quite barren uh, it uh, allow it does not allow the growth of other you know native species native plants and that's why it is a major cause of concern and then additionally it is it has the substance called parthenin which is toxic as well okay and its common names are santa maria santa maria fever few white top weed and famine weed so with this we have come and end to this episode hope you guys enjoyed it tomorrow we'll come up with five new mcqs please stay tuned guys and like and share these videos thank you